Walnut trees belong to the genus Juglans, which includes approximately 20 species grown for their edible nuts and attractive foliage. Species such as the black walnut, J. Nigra, and English walnut, J. Regia, grow best within U.S. Department of Agriculture plant hardiness zones 5 to 9, where they are widely cultivated as crop trees and landscape ornamentals. Walnut trees grow readily from fresh seeds, which require little hands-on care if thoroughly cleaned before sowing. The seeds germinate rapidly and will be ready for transplant in approximately one year, although they must be cold stratified before sowing to improve their germination rate. One collect walnut seeds in mid to late autumn after the fruit has fully ripened. Wait until the husks have darkened and begun to split open, revealing the wrinkled brown nut. Two gather several walnut fruit from the ground. Inspect them closely for signs of insect holes, mold or rodent damage. Avoid walnuts with obvious damage because they are probably hollow or otherwise not viable. 3. Put on rubber or leather gloves while processing the walnuts because their husks will discolor your skin. Peel off the husks and discard them. Place the husked walnuts into a bucket. 4. Fill the bucket half full with water. Soak the walnuts overnight or at least for several hours to determine if any are viable. Discard the nuts that float to the surface. Keep those that sink. 5. Fill a clean coffee can with a moistened mixture of half coarse sand and half perlite. Bury the walnuts 2 inches deep in the sand. Store the container inside the refrigerator for roughly 4 months. Remoisten the sand mixture, as needed. 6. Remove the coffee can from the refrigerator after the cold stratification period has ended. Prepare a growing container for each walnut. Fill 12-inch greenhouse pots with a mix of half loam and half sand. Leave the top inch empty. 7. Sow one walnut in each greenhouse pot at a depth of 2 inches. Place the pots inside a cold frame or against a lightly shaded, south-facing wall. Warm the seeds to 85 degrees Fahrenheit during the day using a propagation mat. Turn off the mat at night. 8. Check the moisture content of the soil every day by sticking your finger into the top few inches. Water to a 4-inch depth whenever the soil feels mostly dry in the top inch. Avoid letting the soil dry out completely because the walnuts may re-enter dormancy. 9. Watch for the first emergent walnut seedlings in roughly one month. Remove the propagation mat and crack open the cold frame once the seeds germinate. Continue to water to a 4-inch depth whenever the soil dries out in the top inch. 10. Move the pots to a sheltered area outdoors once the walnut seedlings produce a set of mature leaves. Acclimate them to direct sunlight in spring. Grow them in full sun with 1 inch of water each week during their first summer. 11. Transplant the immature walnut trees into a permanent bed in early autumn just after the first rainfall. Plant them in a sunny bed with moist, fast-draining soil. Provide 1 to 2 inches of supplemental water each week during their first year in the ground. How to Sprout Walnuts With their pinnate leaves and sweet-fleshed nuts, walnut trees, Juglans SPP, play a dual role in landscaping as a reliable shade tree and an edible crop. Species such as black walnut, J. Nigra, and California black walnut, J. Hind C, grow well within U.S. Department of Agriculture plant hardiness zones 5 to 9, where they will sprout reliably from fresh seeds. The seeds must be cleaned and cold stratified before sowing to prompt successful germination, although they are otherwise simple to sprout and will be ready for transplant by their first autumn. 1. Gather walnuts in mid-autumn after the husks darken slightly and begin to split. Take them directly from the tree rather than gathering them from the ground. Avoid any with obvious signs of pest damage. 2. Place the walnuts in a large bucket. Cover them with water and soak them for 24 hours to loosen the greenish outer husk. Discard any that float to the surface, since they are inviable. Drain off the water. 3. Put on rubber gloves to keep your hands from being stained by the walnut husks. Score around each husk with a knife. Peel off the two halves and discard them. 4. Place the cleaned walnuts in a 2-gallon sealable plastic bag with enough moistened perlite to cover them. Store the bag inside the refrigerator for 3-4 to four months to cold stratify the walnuts. 5. Prepare planting containers after the cold stratification period has ended. Fill 1-gallon nursery containers with a mix of 2 parts garden soil, 1 part coarse sand and 1 part oak leaf mold. 6. Sow one walnut in each container. 
Dig a 3-inch deep hole in the center of the soil mixture. Place the walnut in the hole so the slightly pointed end points sideways. Cover it with loose soil. 7. Place the nursery containers outdoors in full sun. Water to a 4-inch depth. Maintain constant moisture in the top 4 inches of soil, but allow the top half inch to dry out completely between waterings. 8. Apply supplemental bottom heat with a propagation mat if daytime temperatures stay below 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Set the propagation mat to 80F drape a clear plastic tarpaulin over the containers to hold in the warmth. 9. Watch for germination in 4 to 5 weeks. Remove the tarpaulin after the walnuts sprout. Move the containers to an area with light midday shade. Water whenever the soil dries out in the top inch. 10. Transplant the walnut seedlings into a sunny bed with fast draining, acid soil in mid-autumn. Space the trees approximately 25 feet apart. Spread a 4-inch thick layer of mulch around each trunk to protect the roots during their first winter. How to plant pecan trees from seed. With their spreading habit and sweet-fleshed nuts, pecan trees, Caria illinoinensis, serve a dual purpose in landscaping as both a shade tree and edible crop. The trees prosper within U.S. Department of Agriculture plant hardiness zones 5 to 9, where they will put on 2 to 3 feet of growth each year. Pecan trees grow reliably well from seeds, although you must chill them for 2 to 3 months before sowing to satisfy their dormancy requirements. Once chilled, sow them in deep pots and provide them with constant moisture to successfully germinate them one month later. Gather pecans in late autumn after the hulls dry out and turn a dark brown color. Choose fruit still attached to the tree. Cut around the fruit hull with a knife and pry it open. Remove the hard, oblong seed. Store the pecan seeds for 2 to 3 months in a refrigerator, in a 1 gallon sealable plastic bag filled with moistened perlite, to cold stratify them. Pour 2 or 3 tablespoons of water onto the perlite whenever it dries out. Sow the pecan seeds in deep, 2-gallon plastic nursery containers filled with a mixture of half loam and half horticultural sand. Bury the seeds at a depth equal to twice their width, which is approximately 2 inches. Spread a 1-inch thick layer of mulch over the loam mixture to help insulate the pecan seeds. Use acidic mulch such as pine needle compost or chipped oak leaves. Water to a 5-inch depth to moisten the soil and settle the mulch. Place the nursery containers inside a cold frame or outdoors against a wall with southern exposure and shelter from cold temperatures. Choose a spot with light shade at midday. Water the pecan seeds whenever the loam mixture feels dry one inch below the surface. Run a garden hose into the nursery containers on low volume so the water soaks in rather than trickling off. Watch for germination approximately one month after daytime temperatures stay reliably above 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Decrease watering by half after germination to promote root growth. Grow the pecan seedlings under bright conditions for their first summer. Provide 1 to 2 inches of water weekly. Transplant them into a large bed with moist, moderately acidic soil in early autumn. Things you will need. Knife. 1 gallon sealable bag. Perlite. 2 gallon nursery containers. Loam. Horticultural sand. Mulch cold frame, garden hose,